a pleasant Sunday morning to everyone, to our brothers and sisters of Good Neighbor Christian Fellowship, our relatives, friends, and classmates. Welcome to our worship, our praise and worship online uh, this uh, 24th uh, Sunday of October. And again, before I pray, let me express our gratitude to all of you for continuously joining us in our praise and worship on Sundays, even in this kind of uh, method of online. Shall we bow our heads and let's pray to God this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for giving us another day this Sunday that we can gather in our homes to offer you, Lord, our praise and our worship. We come to you in the name of Jesus Christ with a thankful heart, with an obedient heart, with a heart full of gratitude for the many blessings that we receive from you. Even as we also pray for forgiveness and cleansing of our sins. We know, Lord, that it saddens you when you see your children committing sins in their lives. That's why, Lord, we always come to you with a contrite heart to ask for forgiveness. This morning, Lord, as uh, we gather in our homes, we want to remember our brothers and sisters who are receiving medical attention, those who are sick before and even during this pandemic, that, Lord, they will finally experience you as their Jehovah Jireh. I pray, Lord, that uh, your compassion will reach out to them that you will intervene between them and the, sick, and the sick, sickness and the disease, that you will heal them and you will give them, Lord, your grace, your mercy, and your peace. During this time that uh, they are sick and suffering from whatever uh, disease they have, we also would like to remember our brothers and sisters, even ang aming mga kababayan who are in financial need that you will also, Lord, let them experience that you are their Jehovah Jireh, their God that will provide for their needs. Lord, this morning as we listen to your words to be given by Pastor Ivo, help us to have a receptive heart, a receptive ear, willing and desirous to learn from you and to be able, Lord, to apply your words in our life, in our daily life. Lord, I pray that our praise and worship today will be most fruitful, beneficial to everyone. That we can, Lord, have this privilege, this opportunity to the internet to still worship you on Sunday not in our church but in our homes. This is my prayer Lord, our prayer in Jesus name. Amen. Our uh, celebrators, those who celebrated their birthdays or wedding anniversaries, their names are in your screen. Uh, kayo na po bahalang tumawag sa kanila, message them, greet them. A happy birthday or a happy wedding anniversary. And to all of you, again, may the grace of God be upon you always. Not only during your birthdays or wedding anniversary, but all the rest of your life. Also, our weekly ministry activities are, still, are also posted in uh, your screen. It's up to you, as I usually and uh, every Sunday invite you 
to join any of these uh, weekly ministry activities of our church. Now, we are on our fourth Sunday of uh, our team, which is experiencing the grace, mercy, and peace of God, which is based on 1 Timothy 1-2, which says to Timothy, my true son in the faith, Grace, mercy, and peace of God the Father and that of Christ Jesus. You know, uh, let me share to you one verse in Psalm 120. Verse 1. David, say, David said, In my distress I call upon the Lord and He answers me. You know, during this time, a lot of us are facing challenges. Sickness, financial difficulty, uh, job opportunity, and many more. That is why our focus is for us to experience the grace of God. And also, I, the reason why I share to you Psalm 120 is to encourage you that during this time, God will always listen to us. As I was talking to one of our uh, friends, meron siyang karamdaman, ang sabi namin sa kanya ni Ate Puring, you don't need lakas ng loob. What you need is lakas ng pananampalataya because your lakas ng pananampalataya will give you lakas ng loob to face up with this health challenge in your life. So tayo man, ano man ang ating mga nararanasan, we have to pray for strength in our faith. Yung tawag ko nga po ay lakas ng pananampalataya. Yan ang magbibigay sa atin ng lakas ng loob na harapin ano mang pagsubok ang dumarating sa atin. As I uh, close, again, I request that every one of us must be able to prepare our hearts to listen not only to the message of Pastor Ibo, but also to the songs that uh, will be shared to us. And doon yung ating kahandaan na whatever God will teach us today, gawin natin, isabuhay natin. And I assure you that you will have that inner peace that somehow you know that God will never leave us, will never forsake us. So isang uh, maligayang pananambahan sa inyo lahat, pagpalaitan ng Diyos, Amen and Amen.